Jesus. And this is Judas. He is one of Jesus' disciples. These are the rest of Jesus' disciples. They follow Jesus and learn about God's love. Let's see how God does that work in the story of the Last Supper. Jesus and the disciples were sharing the Passover meal. Jesus broke the bread, saying, This is my body given for you. Take and eat. Oh. Jesus then took the wine and said, This is my blood of the covenant. Take and drink. went to a garden. Jesus prayed. He was full of sorrow, for he knew what would happen to him.
brought soldiers to the garden so they could arrest Jesus. See how God is at work in the story of Jesus and the cross. In the garden, Jesus prayed. He was full of sorrow, for he knew what would happen to him. Judas led guards to the garden so they could arrest Jesus. The next day, crowds came to yell at Jesus. His disciples ran and hid. Peter said he did not even know Jesus. Pontius Pilate, a Roman governor, heard the crowd calling for Jesus' death and delivered him to be crucified.
Jesus had died. But this was not the end of the story. Magdalene, one of Jesus' followers. And these are Jesus' disciples. They were all very sad, for Jesus had died. Let's see how God is at work in the story of the empty tomb. Mary came to the disciples with important news. Mary had gone to Jesus' tomb. It was open. Jesus' body was gone. But there was an angel in the tomb. Jesus appeared to Mary. He was alive. Jesus sent her to tell the disciples that he had risen from the dead. Maha. Maha. Jesus. And these are two followers of Jesus. Let's see how God is at work in the story of the road to Emmaus. After Jesus was killed, two of his followers were walking home towards Emmaus. A stranger asked them why they were sad. Apostle. 
They told the stranger everything they knew about Jesus. They explained how Jesus taught about God and performed miracles. Jesus had died. <sighs> they talked to the stranger about Jesus all day. Learn sorrow after They invited the stranger to stay for dinner. Doglai, doglai. Prendi le bando. Correte pe plunde per un caro e ne bacca ora vedi. Caro pe cupacando. The stranger explained it was necessary for the Messiah to suffer these things. Libenema no manegera. When the stranger broke bread and gave it to them, they recognized him. It was Jesus. Then Jesus disappeared. But they knew now that Jesus had risen from the dead. Jesus. And this is Thomas, one of Jesus' disciples. The disciples follow Jesus as he teaches about God's love. Let's see how God is at work in the story of Thomas Believes. Uh, uh, uh. 
After Jesus was crucified, the disciples were scared that people would want to hurt them too. So they hid in a locked house. Even though the door was locked, Jesus appeared in the house. But Thomas was not in the house when Jesus appeared. The disciples told Thomas they'd seen Jesus. But Thomas did not believe it could be true. But this couldn't be Jesus. Thomas had seen the holes in Jesus' hands from being nailed to the cross. He had seen Jesus' dead body. Hmm? Jesus showed Thomas his hands. There were still holes from the nails. <gasps> Thomas now believed it was true. Jesus really had arisen from the dead. <laughs> Mama, <laughs> 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 